<clears throat> all right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. Okay. Uh, before we get started, let's like give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, how will by Shimmy, how will Shai by Shimon Kakadash? Let's get double honest to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who will and taught us this truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to the brothers out there that the full cleanse earth, pushing this word and all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. It's Brother Kazat by Shimon Let's come back with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of by Shimon Shai. And, um, you know, today we're going to get some scriptures, man, because, you know, it's the year to turn up. We're seeing a lot of uh, destruction going on, okay? And um, we ought, to, as scriptures say, to prophesy the downfall of this place, man. Okay, so we'll start off uh, with jo uh, Jeremiah um, to, uh, 28 and 8. We'll start off with that one. And whatever other scriptures in the spirit we uh, get, you know, because there's a lot of hell going on on this planet Earth, man. Okay, and Yah it's all the judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. But the prophets are telling you these things before they actually happen, right? Go ahead, bro. Come on, this is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that had been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries mm -hmm. and against great kingdoms of war and of evil. It said of war and of evil. So it said all the ancient prophets, okay, are right, forewarned the people, all right, prophesied to the people, man, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, man, all right. So you had the men of the Lord that was out there on the highways and byways back then. And doing the same thing now, okay? All right? Preaching the downfall and destruction of these kingdoms, man. Okay? And what kingdom are we in now? All right? Babylon the Great, the rule of Esau, man. Okay? You got the men of the Lord now prophesying the downfall and destruction of this place, America, man. All right, go ahead, bro. It says... <clears throat> it's lucky. And it says... Prophesied both against many countries... Mm -hmm. And against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms, man. Okay. Of what? Of war. Of war. All right. Like I said, you know, we always go into it how, you know, uh, you got the war going over there in Ukraine. We can't talk about it too much because of, the, you know, the stream purposes and stuff like that, you know. But we know what's going on over there. You know how that's going to uh, uh, come into the, uh, the the prophecy of the, what, the third woe, as the scriptures say. Okay. You know. You know. And of evil of bad times okay all right bad times is going to be happening more frequently and only bad times as the scriptures say man okay so we quickly um get ezekiel um seven yeah and a pestilence it's a and a pestilence of what diseases man all right you already got the <laughs> the gorilla glue out there you know that's plugging these uh, uh alphabet communities and stuff okay then you got other uh things because our people took the, the serpent's juice Okay, the serpent's bite. Okay, you know, all these things, man. You know, the Lord is having his men prophesy the downfall of this kingdom, man. All right, and how it will go down, man. All right, we're in that time that the Lord's saying, What well, calamity is going to happen upon calamity? Okay, and you know, um, can you start verse uh, three? Okay. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter seven, verse three. It says, Now the end is come mm -hmm. upon thee. It said, The end is come upon thee. Okay. We're at the end of all things, man. Okay, this is the end of uh, uh of this Esau Edom, the so-called white man sleazy E ruling. Okay, we're at the end of his kingdom, his his rulership. Okay, you read it. It says, <clears throat> "And I will send mine anger upon thee." It said, "And I will send my anger upon thee." All right, the Lord is furious. The Lord says he's angry with the wicked every day. Two thirds of our people who don't want to get right with him. Or don't want to turn back to the God of the Bible, repent, which means to sorrowfully turn back, okay? He's mad with them. And, of course, Esau, Edom, the wicked, according to the scriptures, man, okay? It says, uh, like it. it says, and will judge thee according to thy ways, mm -hmm. and will recompense upon thee all mine abominations. It says, the Lord says he's going to recompense upon you all thy abominations, man. Okay, so he's gonna pay you back for the evil that you've done, all right? Because that's what recompense goes to, goes into vengeance, all right? Which goes into uh, vengeance, goes into the evil done unto you. So bad things, bad times happening unto you for the evil that you've done, that wickedness, all right, that you've done on this planet, that uh, which you performed on this planet, man. Okay, you know that where they get that um, like I said last night in the spirit when I did the stream, the the the. Uh, terminology to get word karma really comes from the scriptures man okay 
all right you reap what you sow whatever you do in the earth you know you will not get away with it okay you know if you sow in righteousness in the earth guess what the lord's gonna reward you that man okay all right but if you sow in wickedness in the earth guess what you gotta sow eat uh you gotta reap evil okay okay this is the time that we're living in read that uh, last part one more time it says and i will recompense upon thee all thine abominations so he's gonna recompense upon thee all thy abominations okay all your wicked detestable filthy acts because that's what abomination is okay all right he's gonna uh, recompense that mean pay you back for those things that you're doing okay you can't get away okay you, that's why you ought to turn back to the guy of the bible all right and you know uh, uh ask for mercy and what they would say uh endure the uh, uh indignation of the lord for, for for a little while then to what not turn back to the god of the bible and end up perishing man okay it says <clears throat> verse four and mine eye shall not spare thee neither will i have pity it said the lord said his eye will not spare thee now we know you know the lord said what the, his eyes are the angels okay you know and then he said what go through the city smite you know to you know old and young all right so the angels of yahweh bashima are about to be loosed out here man bro has been seeing videos of you know these uh, uh spirits coming out of water all right forming in the sky especially when cern did the whole you know uh particle collider thing okay over there at cern in in, in uh, really is it switzerland uh, this is one of them uh, your Euro european countries man okay as soon as they, the week they started doing that, what people started seeing apparitions and, and, and different spirits, all right? Those are all angels, whether they might be on the a, a left-hand side or the right-hand side, okay? The Lord's having these angels make things happen in the earth, man, okay? But I will recompense thy ways upon thee. The Lord says he's going to recompense, pay you back, all right, uh, according to your ways, okay? The way you conduct yourself, okay? That's what, because ways goes into your conduct the way you act on the planet earth okay so it's imperative that we uh uh you know act our actions be lined with the fear of the god of the bible yahweh bashimel shai because what destruction's here okay it's not even coming no more it's here and the lord is about to turn it up hence the to the spirit and power of yahweh bashimel shai the apostle tahara named this year what the year of the turn up destruction is turning up man our calamities is turning up all right, evils is turning up, okay? All right, it says, And thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee. Meaning what? Your abomination is going to be in the midst of thee, meaning you know what you're doing is going to be known. That's the reason why you're getting judged, okay? The Lord is going to make it known you got judged because you did X, Y, Z, you know? You you uh, uh, was messing with the next man's baby mama, so guess what? The Lord had that man busting the door, waving the faux faux, you know, cracking your head open. Okay, you know, for you women, you out here being homeless because you want you acting like you don't need a man. Okay, these are the things that the Lord is gonna pay you back for. Okay, and you gonna know that it was the Lord. Matter of fact, read that last part. And it says, and you shall know that I am Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. And you shall know that I am Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. You gonna know it's the Lord that did this to you. Okay, it's gonna be evident that what a higher power has to be doing because the rate of Things that's gonna be happening on this earth, it's gonna be um, it's gonna so be mo so monumental as the scriptures say that it's gonna be like no time other. Matter of fact, you get that in Daniel's bro, real fast. It said that what well, it's gonna be like no time other. So so many things that'll be going on, and it's gonna be going on at, at such a uh, hectic, chaotic rate. People go have to acknowledge that there was a, there's a higher power, there's a higher being, higher power that's doing this. <clears throat> this is Daniel twelve and one. And at that time, shall, shall Michael Allah, mm -hmm. Michael, stand up. That's right. It's, it's talking about what the head archangel under Lord Yahweh Shai, Michael. is going to get that bad that Michael's going to have to stand up and do what, bro? The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Which his name, Michael, actually means what? Well, God he, like. Yeah, he is the, he's like the power. All right? He's like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So this powerful angel, this powerful being, okay? It's going to have to stand up to protect the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? And there shall be at that slacky. Like and there shall be a time of trouble mm. such as was not since there was a nation even to the same time. There's going to be a time of trouble that has never been seen on the face <clears throat> of the earth, man. 
Okay, and scripture says it's gonna be the time of Jacob's trouble. Yeah, everybody here is gonna be getting it, but the ones who's the ones that's really gonna be feeling it, all right, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, any Israelite foreigners who whose seed line lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob through the seed of your father. Okay. And at that time, thy people shall, shall be delivered, mm -hmm. everyone that shall be found written in the book. Because the people are going to be delivered, everyone that's found in the book. That's the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord's will be a part of that number, okay? That's why you see brothers and a few sisters doing what they got to do in the spirit to turn back to Yahweh Bashim al Shah as much as possible, especially in these times, because we don't want to be destroyed in these things, right? Okay? We don't want to be destroyed in the hell to come, okay? You know, anyone that? No, that's it. Can you go to um? Uh, let's see. What's it, what's it? it says, "Behold, uh, Jeremiah eleven eleven. There we go. Okay. Start of verse ten. You know, because the Lord is telling us right now that what that we need to uh, uh, hearken unto this word, man. Okay, you know, we need to hearken unto this word or else, because we don't want to be like the two thirds. Because we about to get a scripture on what's gonna what the Lord is gonna do. All right, when we say the Lord, we're talking about Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. Okay, Yahweh being the true name of the heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai being the true name who the word ignorant calls Jesus Christ. All right, what the Lord is going to do to our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, is going to be a horrible judgment. All right, for those that don't want to turn back and serve the God of the Bible. Go ahead, bro. Jeremiah eleven eleven. Therefore, does start, says, start at verse ten. Jeremiah eleven and ten. They are turned back to their iniquities mm -hmm. of their forefathers. They are turned back, meaning what? They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers. So our people are starting to do the same thing they did in the ancient world, all right? Seeking after other gods, reverencing things, all right, more than Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, who the word calls God and Jesus Christ, man. All right, that's what a true idol is, man, okay? When you put anything in front of the Lord, all right, that becomes an idol, Okay? And the Lord said he's a jealous power, so the Lord hates that. Okay? And our people are turned back to what the iniquity of our forefathers doing the same wickedness they did before, but now at a higher rate. Because we're in Babylon the Great. This is confusion at an all-time high. Okay? You read? Which refuse to hear my words. Mm -hmm. Which refuse to hear the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? The scripture said what well, they loathed the law. Okay? Meaning they hated the law, statute, commandments of the guy of the Bible. All right? And did what, bro? And they went after other gods mm -hmm. to serve them. They went, so they hated the law of the Lord, okay, and went after other gods because without with these other gods, all right, there's no standards, okay. You can do as thou wilt, basically, okay. You know, but with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, there's a way, there's a particular way you have to live and carry yourself as an Israelite. So our people hated that, all right, and went to go serve other gods to do their own thing to fill to fulfill, to fulfill their own. Uh, uh, desires and lust of the flesh, as the scriptures say. So now, what the Lord is going to destroy them because they're not going to turn back. Okay, um, I got a quick precept, real fast. <clears throat> this is a uh, second Ezra, um, chapter 9. And uh, let's see, where shall I start? Ooh. I started at verse 9. It says, uh, Then shall they be in pitiful case. Which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. See, our people will cast away, you know, the, the ways all right, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, now they're going to dwell in torment. So, you know, the Lord's saying, what? Since you want to turn back to these other gods and don't turn back to me, all right, you're going to dwell in torment. Okay, because why? <clears throat> it says, verse 10 For such as in their lives have received benefits. And have not known me, they have received benefits in this place, America. Okay, you know they've received. Uh, uh, they got a nice car, they got a nice house, they got a wife, they got some children, the dog, whatever, the whole so-called American dream. So they forgot about Yahweh by Shema Oshai. They don't. They act like they don't need the Lord. All right, and that's majority of our people. Even if they're in a uh, downtrodden state, they still don't believe that they need Yahweh by Shema Okay, it says. Verse 11, here's the point I want to get. It says, And they that have loathed my law, which means hated, all right, the commandments of the Lord. It says, While they yet had liberty, because we're in a grace period, okay? We're in a period right now, all right, of grace, where the Lord is seeing really where your intent is at, okay? You know? Like I said, uh, uh, when you have a bill, <laughs> you know, and a bill collector calls you, 
like, hey, you know, uh, oh, you don't got the money? Okay, I'll give you a grace period. What they're really doing is seeing, are you really going to pay them back or not? Okay, are you really going to give up that payment? Are you really going to save up, do what you got to do to pay them back? That's really what a grace period is about. Okay, you know, to see your true intent. And if not, then guess what? You're going to be in debt if you don't pay back. But some people, what? Some people actually pay them back. All right. I mean, that's what the elected nation of Israel is doing by what? Through their time, by, by seeking out the Lord, by rehearsing the righteous acts, uh, 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 doing what is commanded of them as Israelites in these times, okay? All right, they're paying, they're, in a way, they're paying back Lord Yahweh by what? Making their bodies a living sacrifice, as the scriptures say, okay? It says, and yet had liberty, <clears throat> when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despise it. And we know what to have true understanding means you're departing from evil, you know? So they, they didn't understand. They didn't want to depart from the evil and they despised the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So that's why what now they're going to be destroyed. Okay. Now go back to that, bro. What was that beginning of the scripture? What was it talking about again? It says, um, uh, and received benefits. Yeah. yeah kind of, kind of. It says, uh, I'll read it again for you. It says, um, this is a uh, second Ezra chapter nine, verse 10 it says, for such as in their lives have received benefits and have not known me. Huh. All right. This is uh, Sirach chapter 11, verse uh, 14. Hmm. Prosperity and adversity, hmm. life and death, mm -hmm. poverty and riches That's right. come from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's right. You know, all those things, as the brother beautifully brought that precept, all those things come from the Lord. Now, you would think if our people knew these things, they would still seek after the God of the Bible, even if they are in a good case. Okay, so to speak, even if they were doing well off and stuff, because you got some brothers that, you know, doing pretty okay here in Babylon, you know, some more than others, you know, but well, you still have them seeking after the Lord. Okay, we got majority of our people, two thirds of the nation of Israel, they what, they receive benefits, they got the what, the section eight housing with that going out the window, uh, the, uh, the food stamps, that's about to go out the window. Okay, what a uh, uh, government assistance, which is about to go out the window. Snap, wig, all that. Yeah, all that, man. They receive these benefits, so they they uh they started to rely on Esau instead of relying on the Lord, and the Lord hated that, man, and still hates it to this day. Okay. Yeah, we wanted them to go down to Egypt for help. Yep, yeah, the spirit. I was thinking about that scripture. You know, you know, you didn't go to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, but you went to your uh, captivity for help instead of the Lord, who 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 really put you in that captivity. Okay. Back in Jeremiah, then Jeremiah 11 and 10, it says, They are turned back from their iniquity. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, mm -hmm. which refused to hear my words. And they went, yeah, and they went after other gods to serve them. Mm -hmm. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant. No, so, so all 12 tribes, okay? All right, have broken the covenant of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Okay, so now the Lord is seeing who really fears me. It says, which I have made with their fathers, mm -hmm. which we are our forefathers coming back. All right, in the reincarnation. Okay, if you don't understand that, the apostles, elders of Great Millstone, and men on down have so many videos on reincarnation. Go look it up. Okay, <clears throat> you come back to your seed line of your father, man. Okay, keep on reading. Verse 11, therefore thus saith Yahweh, power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, behold, I will bring evil upon them, mm -hmm. which they should not be able to escape. So the Lord said, look, behold, now it's the spirit, because brothers always go into that word, behold, means to look. But when you go get into the actual meaning of to look, it means to perceive, to understand. So the Lord wants us to get an understanding of what is going to happen to our people. Get a true understanding uh, on why you should depart from evil, okay? Because this is what the Lord's going to do unto our people who don't. Keep on reading. It says, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. Evil, eve meaning time and ill meaning bad. So bad times, calamity upon calamity. All right, calamity upon calamity is going to be happening upon our people. Troubling times. You, you're going to go from having no job to getting kicked out your house to having no food, all right? 
uh, uh, what's the brother say? No, no pot to piss in or window to throw out of. Okay. It's like what the brother who was say. You go from sugar to shit. <laughs> hey man, you know, but hey, you know, Jake. This situation, they they already in shit, so to speak. So you going to shit to more shit. <laughs> You know, for lack of better words, man. <laughs> you know, the, hey, the Lord's about to get down on our people, and the Lord wants us to understand why these things are happening. It's because why our people are, are not turning back. So, what, two thirds of them have to go. While the elect, they're seeking after the Lord and they'll receive that mercy, man. Lord's will be a part of that number. Uh, and it says, and though they should cry unto me. Bro, though they should cry unto me, because you got our people going to be crying unto the Lord. I went into it last, last night in the spirit Because in this time What? Our people going to be crying unto the Lord But ultimately Because the ultimate thing that shows that you sin against you How about Shemel Shai in these times Is when you take that karagma That incision under the skin Because <clears throat> we're coming into that time Okay we're in, we're in the time of the last prophecies And one of those last major prophecies is the what? The MOTB Okay Alright so if you get that incision under the skin, the Lord said he's going to bring evil upon you that you're not going to be able to escape. You think you can escape a nuclear missile? <clears throat> That's evil that you can't escape. It says, I will not hearken unto them. Because our people going to be calling, oh, Lord, please. Uh, when they see that wave of fire coming, oh, God, oh, Ios Mio, Jesus Christ, whatever, God, Hindu, Shiva, whoever, Okay. You even gonna have those that got the, the MOTB, the uh, the Karagma, and they're gonna try to call upon the name of Yahweh by Shema Shai. The Lord said he's not gonna hear them. Okay? Because <clears throat> in that time, this is the time of Jeremiah, right? Yeah. They knew the name of the Lord, but they didn't hearken unto his words. So that didn't matter. That's why it's gonna say, what? Not all those that say, Lord, Lord, are gonna be saved. You gotta be obedient in these times, man. Okay? Matter of fact, I got one. Okay. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Mm -hmm. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. And he said, if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. Now, the sword is any uh, instrument of death. Mainly Esau eating the so-called white man sees it eat. But the sword is also the nuclear missiles, okay? Because we got to get into, you know, that you got to push forward that prophecy, man, okay? If you take that karagma, you got a missile with your name on it. You know, you got a missile with your name, especially those of, of the circumcision that know better, man, okay? You better take heed to the word, man, all right? That karagma all right, is the MOTB, okay? That incision under the skin, if you take that, it's a wrap for you. So when the nuclear missiles hit, hey man, that's another evil that you're not gonna be able to escape. And though they should cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. That's the, that's what the Lord said, okay? For the mouth of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah have spoken it. He said, for the mouth of the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shah have spoken it. Go ahead, bro. That was it on that one. That was it on that one. Yeah. Um, and that was Jeremiah. Jump down to uh, 14. no, no, no. Uh, keep on going to verse twelve. Yeah. It says, uh, Jeremiah 11 and 12. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. It said, go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. Okay? Who mean who they reverence. In that time, when our people get, uh, uh, matter of fact, bro, in the spirit, get uh, Revelation 13. Huh. And stuff. Since we're talking about it, let's get, the, let's get the prophecy, man. You know? Because if you want to take that, <laughs> it's a wrap for you, man. You know? It's a wrap. Since you want to serve other gods, because what the brother said in Jeremiah 12, uh, 11 and 12 was what? You offer incense, okay? Meaning you reverence other gods, man. And mainly the one that they reverence right now is Esau eating the so-called white man. So when he says to take that crock, my people are going to obey him because they reverence him. But that, that, that same devil... Who's gonna be destroyed with the nuclear missiles can't even save you. He's gonna be destroyed in nuclear missiles too. Alright, his kingdom is gonna be gone. Alright? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Okay, you can start at 15 or 16. Um, start at 16. Uh, 16. Okay. This is uh, Revelation 13 and 16. And he caused of all mm -hmm. 
both small and great, mm -hmm. rich and poor. Yeah, re and replace that word with five. Yep, yep, yep. Free and bond mm -hmm. to receive the karagma mm -hmm. in their right hand or in their forehead. To receive that karagma in the right hand or their forehead, man. Okay. Both small, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. I mean, all sectors of society is going to be required to take that karagma. Okay. All right. That's the time that we're coming into. You just had the uh, Apostle Tahar upload yesterday, the re-upload, the, uh, the vision that the, um, that the beloved uh, elder brother in, um, uh, in New York, uh, Amon Gabar. Gabar. Yep. That he had the dream in the spirit, that vision, man. Okay. Uh, people are people just willingly taking it just oh just obeying he saw lolly da di da you know not thinking about it, poking at the karagma in their hand like, oh okay not knowing that this you just signed your 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 certificate for being perished okay <laughs> but all right come and it says uh and no it's lucky verse 17 and then no man might buy or sell mm -hmm. Save he that have the Karax. That's right. You know, that, uh, what's called that? No man might buy or sell unless he have that Karagma, man. Okay? That incision under his skin. So you won't be able to, what, make any financial transactions, you know, unless you have that Karagma, man. Which that really shows that you sinned against Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Okay? You know, scripture said, matter of fact, uh, Second Ezra 15. Verses uh, 26 and 27. All right? Because the Lord said that what? if you, In these times, when you sin against them, which that ultimate sin is taking that karagma, all right? The incision under that skin, that what? You sin against them, so he's not going to deliver you. Because people be like, well, well, you you said, you know, yeah, we all go off, we sin, but we repent to the God of the Bible. Yeah, man, but there's a sin that you can't repent from, and that's taking that karagma, man. Okay. It's two of them. Last one mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. Yep. And that uh yep. you know. Take taking that karagma, man. Okay. This is uh <clears throat> second Edges fifteen and twenty six. Mm -hmm. For Yahweh Bashim Shah know of all them that sin against him. He know of all them that sin against him. Alright? You can just imagine it. The Lord already knows all the Israelites. But now imagine each one of those Israelites, okay, that don't believe in him, get the karagma, man. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a straight indicator in that day who serves Yahweh by Shemia Oshai, man. Okay. And therefore delivered he them unto death and destruction. Well, he said he's gonna hand you over. He's gonna give you into the hands of death and destruction, man. Okay. Especially in these times, okay. You know. You you uh, you want to take that uh, karagma and re what trust in Egypt as the brother beautifully uh, quoted earlier, okay? You want to trust in Egypt and not your Maker, your Creator, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, but the one who calls God in Jesus Christ, okay? The Lord is going to end up destroying you. He's going to hand you over into the hands of death and destruction, okay? And those are angels, man, just waiting to to have you know their, their way with you, man, okay? Yeah, you trust in the basis of men that the Heavenly Father created. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and not knowing that this kingdom is about to go out, he can't even save himself. He's going head first into captivity. All right, but you trust in him, man. Okay? The Lord's going to destroy you. So if you take that karagma, it's a wrap for you. You will not be saved. And therefore delivered he them unto death and destruction. Mm-hmm. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. Now, isn't the, the nuclear missiles counted as a plague, brother? Come, on, come. On. You know, so what, them, them plagues, go, you got other plagues that happen, but that main final icing on the cake, that plague, is the thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay? Oh, fourth at noonday. That's right. It says, uh, verse 27, For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. Because mm -hmm, what, them nuclear missiles going to be shooting all over through the four corners of the earth. This whole, uh, excuse me, this earth is going to rock to and fro, mm -hmm. man. Okay? And you shall remain in them. But you... <laughs> that word remain means to sit there and marinate. You know? So the Lord said that what? That he's going to bring evil upon them that they should not be able to escape. Mm -hmm. If you can't escape something, that means you're marinating in it, man. Mm -hmm. So the Lord said he's going to bring that evil, that plague, the nuclear missiles 
upon those that sin against him. All right, he's not going to deliver you if you sinned against him. And that ultimate sin in these days is taking that karagma, man. If you take that karagma, and we're saying this to the nation of Israel, okay? So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in the Israelite foreigners. If you take that karagma, you will not be saved. Facts. Okay? At the end of the day, you know, if you take that karagma, you will not be saved. You will burn here in America. Point blank, period, man. All right? He says. <clears throat> Like it says, for the most high shall not deliver you. Mm -hmm. But it's, oh, 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 oh. It said you gotta remain in it, right? <clears throat> it said, what else? It says, for the most high shall not deliver you because you have sinned against him. I'm gonna get a little of this, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah uh, read from him, talking one time, bro. Um, uh, Sirach, I mean, uh, second edges 15 and 27. <clears throat> for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. Say so you shall remain in them, the water brother. For mm -hmm. the most high shall not deliver you. And the, he says the Lord's not even gonna deliver you. Mind you, he says he's gonna deliver the elect. Okay? Those that get beamed up in the chariots, okay? You know, right at the uh, um at the seventh trump, man, okay? <laughs> You're going to see the strangeness of their salvation. <laughs> you're gonna, you're like, why am I not getting beamed up? Because you got a karagma. <laughs> you got you got the chip, bro. It's like you, you know. <laughs> like, hold on, your reward is coming right at the. I mean, right at the hours. Yeah, yeah. You, you hey, because the scriptures say that. Uh, matter of fact, grab um, uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, twelve, and uh, I believe it's not thirteen, fourteen. The last, the last one. Yeah. You finish this up. Right. It says, "For the most I shall not deliver you." Because you have sinned against him. Mm hmm Because you sinned against him, man. <laughs> you took the crockpot, bro. And you think you're going to be saved? You were absolutely insane. Okay? You literally sinned against the Lord. And now the Lord's like, you know what? I'm not going to save you. I'm not going to deliver you. Though you cry unto me, I'm not going to hearken unto you. I'm going to bring that evil upon you that you're not going to be able to escape. That plague. All right? It's going to hit all the earth. You go remain in that. Okay? You go sit and marinate. You gonna know, like we were earlier, we were all full circle, that well, your abomination shall be in the midst of thee. Yeah. Well, right before we get that, let's get uh, the um, judgment. Try and go. Go ahead. Yeah, get that. Yeah, yeah. Fourteen. Yep. Yeah. This is uh. Oh, this is Revelation fourteen and nine. Yeah. Yep. This is Revelation fourteen and nine. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast mm -hmm. and his image. All right, you know, <clears throat> the beast, the system, you know, Esau, Edom, and his system, you worship him instead of worshiping Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You worship this, everything that you see around you, that this man got set up. You, you, you hail him as the king of the earth, okay? The king of the universe. Oh, it's Esau. Ah, you know? Oh, no, nobody could be above this man. You know, because that's really what people are saying. Even if they don't say it like that, they they saying it, man. Okay? You know, you want to believe that he's the God of the universe? The Lord's going to destroy you, man. Okay? And receive his benefit in his forehead or <laughs> in his, or in his hey, hand. God, brother, I like the way you flipped that. Yeah, that's right. Receive that karagma, that benefit, because actually when you go into uh, that word, um receive i believe it's poeo in the in the greek which means to receive a gift a benefit you know so you want to receive that okay that karagma that benefit in these times from esau the lord is going to have you go through this what's that bro it says the same shall drink of the wine hmm. of the wrath of the most high you go drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high yahweh bashim yahweh shai it's going to be potent Straight up, hard, hard to dry, you know, that dry, not sweet wine, that dry wine, you know, honey proof, honey proof. <laughs> That's right, that's right. <laughs> it says, uh, which is poured out without mixture. He said, which is poured out without mixture, so it's not gonna be mixed up with anything for you. straight shot, okay. The fire, that fire, that that nuclear wall fire, I can't even say nuclear, it's a um, it was a thermal nuclear. There we go. All right, because the, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that was uh, uh, atomic. 
Then you had the uh, the hydro bomb that was nu I think that was like nuclear. There's some, I, but you know this is gonna be thermal nuclear. That thermal nuclear wall of fire, you ain't gonna be able to to get away from that. Yeah, heat and radiation. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So uh, it says verse ten. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture mm -hmm. into the cup of his indignation. Mm -hmm. You have to drink that. You don't want to turn back to the God of Bible and trust in Esau. You have to drink that, bro. So to all those that don't believe that the Karagma <clears throat> is the MOTB, okay? If you take that, there's no salvation for you. The Spirit Empire, Yahweh Bashamel Shah, Great Millstone, is telling you like it is. You will not be saved if you take that Karagma. That C H I P. If you take that, it's a wrap for you. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Be tormented with what, bro? And sh he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. You will be tormented. Remember, we just read earlier what? Those that loathe my law shall dwell in torments. You you go dwell in torments, man. That's that fire is gonna to torture you because the Lord says he's gonna have you remain in it, and he's not gonna deliver you. He's gonna bring the evil upon you that you should not be able to escape. You see how all these scriptures are tying in together. The Lord is saying to our people, "I want you." Why do you think the Lord says, "Behold, to look, to perceive, to understand"? This is what's gonna to happen to you if you take that, uh, uh, take that karagma, man. If you sin against me like that, it's a wrap for you. That's what the Lord's saying, man. If you trust in Esau and don't trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name who the world calls Jesus Christ, it's a wrap for you, man. It says, <clears throat> and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone mm -hmm. in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That's right, you're going to be burnt. In the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the lamb, okay? You know? Everybody's going to be looking down to see you burn, man. Because you don't want to take heed into the word. You, you didn't want to be obedient. You want to do your own thing. You didn't want to turn back. You didn't want to hearken into these words. You thinking uh, the MOTB is a, a, a potato chip. Thinking it's an embargo. You thinking it's white women. Hey man, like I said, just in the spirit, because the spirit just wanted me to hit that real fast. If you take the, I'm gonna say it again in the spirit. If you take the karagma, the incision under the skin, because you gotta break it down for Jake. That C H I P. If you take that, it's a wrap for you. You will not be saved. The Lord will destroy you. You got a missile with your name on it. You'll get hit with that wall of fire. Plain and simple, man. So this is why we're pushing for the fear of the God of the Bible, teaching our people the fear of Yahweh Bashamel Shai, or that you don't have to go through any of that, okay? That you trust in the Lord, and ultimately, the Lord's will be a part of that, be beamed up in the chariots before the missiles drop, okay? Can we end up? Here we are. We had Ecclesiastes now. Yeah, Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and the uh, last verse, and we'll end it off on that, bro. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So out of everything we were just talking about, okay? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, okay? Let's wrap everything up in one, in, in one sum, okay? To do what, bro? Fear the Most High. Fear the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashmael Shai, and his judgments, okay? With the fear, moving with the fear of the Lord, you will not take that karagma because you know what are the consequences for it afterwards, man. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. And like the Apostle Tar said, man, ain't no, oh, I'm just get it for a day, have it <clears throat> click in, you know, click in, I'm gonna be able to pop it out. That's not gonna happen, bro. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> keep on, yo, our people keep on test. you keep on testing the Lord, bro, and you gonna see what the Lord gonna do to you, man. Okay? For this is the whole duty of man. For this is the whole duty of the man, woman, and child of the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? And the Israelite foreigners. If you don't take heed to this word, you will be uh, a subject to horrible judgment, okay? 
Oh, keep on reading. <clears throat> For the most high, you how Bashmiel shot shall bring every work into judgment. Everything that you do is gonna be brought into judgment. All right. So if you want to take that karagma, there's a judgment for this a reward for you, like you said, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want to trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, and do you know if you, it has to be your uh, your way up out of here through uh, whatever uh, you know uh, guillotine or whatever, because you trust in the God of the Bible. Guess what? Your your reward is here too. All right, the elect's reward is being beamed up. Two thirds of our people's reward is gonna be <laughs> being uh, turned into a bunch of toast. That's why we're doing these lessons right now, man. That's we're right. Trying to, um, you know, seal our uh, salvation. You know, we laying up those uh, spiritual treasures, the spiritual treasures in heaven. That's right. You know, that's some, right. Some we can lean upon in that day. You know. That's right. That's right. Trusting in the Lord, man. Fearing the God of the Bible. All right. Read that last verse one more time from the top. Yeah. This is uh, Ecclesiastes twelve and fourteen. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment. Mm -hmm. I mean, with every secret thing, mm -hmm. whether it be good or whether it be evil. <laughs> Yo, you can imagine, bro. He said, with every secret thing. So you gonna have men that secretly get the crowd. Act like nothing's wrong. The Lord gonna destroy you, man. We pray that we be of the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, the ones that are stay ten town, ten toes down for the Lord. Trusting in Yahweh by Shemiel Shai no matter what. Okay? Fear, always fearing the God of the Bible. Matt Slaki, bro. We'll end it off on this one. Um, Sirach 23 and 27. We'll end it off on that one. <clears throat> that, always, that always wraps it up. That always wraps it up. That, that scripture and that scripture <laughs> always wraps it up in the spirit. You know? We're going to know the Lord's will be a party like that. There was nothing better than the fear that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is uh, <clears throat> Sirach chapter 23, verse 27. Mm -hmm. And they that remain. Those that remain, that word remainder or remain goes back to the remnant, the elect. Okay? Lord's will be a part of that number. That what? Shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There's going to be nothing better than the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name who the word and he calls Jesus Christ. It was nothing better than the fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the God of the Bible. Nothing else was better than that. Okay? And that there is nothing sweeter. Nothing sweeter. Who oh, it's a, a tasteful kiss. Okay? Nothing sweeter than what? Than to take heed unto the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, and what is one of the two main commandments in these times specifically? You know, according to the prophecies, is what? That we trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with all our heart, mind, soul, and you don't take that damn karagma, man. Okay? Trust in the Lord and do not take the karagma, man. All right? You know what else on that? Kind of get them. Say anything before close? Hey, the lesson said it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right, bro. So with that, hopefully this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel. Lord as well, you know, we, you know, was able to help put more fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai within you, also within ourselves, man. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakadash. But they get double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who root well and taught us this truth according to the Bible. And shalom on to all the brothers out there that the full comes earth pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, say shalom. Shalom. Hey, DTA, a Bob, Soon and very soon.